During Donald Trump's term as president, he helped Senator Ron DeSantis rise to power as the governor of the state of Florida. Many onlookers thought it was going to be the start of a long friendship. It seems this is what Donald himself thought, but recent rumors suggest Ron is planning to run against his old friend in the 2024 presidential election. In the wake of these rumors, it seems Donald is putting some distance between himself and the governor that he helped bring to power. Join Facts First as we explore how Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis are cutting all ties amidst their feud. Why are Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis feuding? In early 2022, things started to sour in the relationship between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. Of course, Trump is best known for his controversial single term as President of the United States. During that term, which lasted from 2016 to 2020, Donald helped Ron DeSantis rise to power. When Donald became president, Ron was a lowly senator doing his meager best to turn the state of Florida red. Donald understandably took an interest in his cause. Donald used his presidency and his celebrity to help turn the people of Florida on Ron's side. With his help, Ron became the governor of Florida in 2019. Just recently, in November of 2022, he was re-elected to serve as Florida's governor for another term. He will remain governor through 2027, which many might think would prove pretty great news for President Trump. But it seems Donald and Ron broke up. The public started noticing the tension between the two in early 2022. They began publicly spatting over their COVID-19 vaccination status. Trump had no problem admitting to the public that he had received his booster shot. But Ron refused to admit anything more than he had received his initial vaccination. Of course, it wasn't really vaccinations that either party was concerned about. Instead, it was public relations. According to Trump, Ron refused to admit he got his booster shot because he didn't want to turn away the people in his demographic who were against vaccination. There are plenty of people on the sides of both Donald and Ron who are against the COVID-19 vaccination, and the two politicians have done plenty to egg these people and their concerns on. Still, Donald has taken pride in his almost hypocritical support of the COVID-19 vaccine. When Trump called out DeSantis as a coward, Ron defended himself by bringing up the way that Donald handled the COVID-19 pandemic during his final year as president. His handling of it has been criticized ad nauseum, and it didn't mean much to hear these criticisms coming from someone who was so friendly with the president during the time in question. According to Ron, he knew Donald wasn't handling the pandemic correctly, and he believes he should have spoken up more about it. Ron criticized Donald's handling of the pandemic. Ron DeSantis' claims that he should have spoken up more against Donald Trump's handling of the pandemic during the president's last year in office understandably rings disingenuous to many. But so does pretty much everything else about the feud between him and former friend Donald Trump. To make matters worse, Florida is where Donald calls his home. Trump has homes across the country, but his mansion in the town of Palm Beach, Florida is his favorite. He likes to consider Florida his own, which makes it all the more poignant that he thought enough of Ron to try to help him become the state's governor. Donald apparently put quite a bit of trust in Ron DeSantis, though the rift between them keeps growing. One might imagine Donald is pretty upset, but he's being tactical with his words. This may be evocative of just how big a threat the former president truly considers the governor he helped bring to power. Normally, Trump doesn't waste much time and quickly begins to disparage his competitors in the media. But he has refused to outright decry DeSantis. That is, except for the occasional spat like the COVID-19 related one. It seems Donald is still putting some effort into keeping Ron's fans on his side, though it could be that the gloves are about to come off in this political catfight. This video is sponsored by Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that helps you feel better the day after drinking. Many people think dehydration is responsible for that morning after feeling, but it's actually due to an alcohol byproduct that builds up in the gut. Zbiotics produces an enzyme specifically to break down this byproduct and reduce the after effects of alcoholic beverages. This is real science that works, not random vitamins and plant extracts like everything else. And Zbiotics is so easy to use. Just drink a bottle of Zbiotics before your first drink of alcohol. You only need one bottle. Then drink responsibly, pace yourself, and get a good night's sleep. Thanks to Zbiotics, you can enjoy your next day feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of it. Every time I have Zbiotics before drinking, I am amazed at how good I feel the next day. With the holiday season upon us, consider gifting Zbiotics to give the gift of a better next morning. It's unique, thoughtful, and under $40. If you use the code FAXFIRST at checkout, you can get an extra 15% off your first order. Click the link in the description or go to zbiotics.com slash FAXFIRST and get 15% off. 
Donald is mad at Ron for not stepping down. The heart of the feud between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis is something quite obvious. It's also something that has remained largely unspoken. That heart would be the matter of Donald's upcoming third bid for president. After becoming president in 2016, Trump lost in 2020. The president was quick to falsely claim that the election was rigged and is considered to be behind the January 6th uprising. As soon as Trump finally came to terms with his loss in the 2020 election, his team started up plans to run again in 2024. Becoming president again seems to be Trump's main goal at the moment, though Ron DeSantis might be getting in the way of that goal. The real reason Donald and Ron are feuding is because the governor hasn't given his word to the former president that he will step down from his own plans to become president. Having just secured his second term as governor of Florida, DeSantis appears to be on his way up in the world of politics. It stands to reason that a bid for presidency could be in the governor's future. In fact, it seems a bid for presidency might be in his immediate future. Murmurs of Ron preparing to enter into the 2024 election have been persistent for some time, and the possibility of the governor running for president seems all the more likely in the wake of his successful re-election. Trump is understandably more scared than ever about his former friend, but he's keeping his derogatory comments about him to a minimum because DeSantis has a sizable following. The feud is causing problems for the Republican Party. Onlookers in the Republican Party are anxious about the developing feud. It's liable to cause a rift in the party that could destroy its chances of winning the 2024 presidential election. In the wake of Donald's failure to be re-elected, the Republican Party has been somewhat disgraced. His alleged mishandling of the COVID-19 pandemic rubbed many of his supporters the wrong way, and plenty of people blamed this for him not getting re-elected in 2020. The most damaging thing that Trump did to his reputation during his term was claim that the election was a sham. These claims led to the January 6th riot, which turned more members of the party against him than ever before. It also led to Donald Trump losing his Twitter account, which essentially took away his voice. Trump did a lot of damage to his reputation on his way out, but he still has a ton of supporters. Many of these consider themselves to be equally strong supporters of Ron DeSantis. If the two politicians do care about the future of the party, it's undeniable they should join forces in some way, but it's likely that all they really care about is number one. Donald and Ron may be gearing up for a showdown. Though DeSantis won the 2022 election, the election was far from being a victory for the Republican Party overall. For the most part, the election saw states turn from red to blue or simply remain blue. Whether the future face of the Republican Party ends up being Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, or someone else, it stands to reason that the party will have a tough time in the 2024 election. Trump is said to be fuming over the results of the election, which is another reason why the former president is so keen to keep his mouth shut and try not to frighten off Ron DeSantis' supporters. Still, if the two end up going head-to-head, -head, one can imagine Donald will change his tune. When the gloves come off, it's hard to predict who will come out the better between the two. There are many believe that Ron DeSantis has no chance of besting Trump in a run for presidency. One such person who supports this case is Megyn Kelly, who was famously never pro-Trump during his term as president. Megyn believes Trump still has a huge number of fans. Although these fans might also be fans of Ron, they don't believe it's time for Ron to shine just yet. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think these two will keep fighting or will they make up and join forces? Let us know in the comments section below.